There is an undeniable sense of pride and accomplishment on the Mabel Bassett Prison Yard. It is the best. <laughs> best part of graduation. Here we are! Yay! Today, nearly 30 incarcerated women are receiving a high school or college diploma. Did you ever think you'd have one of those? No, to be honest. Uh, it feels better than orange. <laughs> this graduation ceremony was attended by several dozen dignitaries. I know that one. <laughs> friends and family. Cool. I'm so excited for all of these women and myself to be able to go and move forward in our education. Commencement speaker Nina Webb is a shining example of success. She was formerly incarcerated here and now holds multiple college degrees. If it was easy, the whole yard would be sitting with you here today graduating. You are the ones that put in the time to make today happen. Just hope that they take away from this, that there's a world outside of these walls, and that education is a key to that door. For some, graduation day is the culmination of years of hard work. 11 years, yes. But slow and steady leads to race, and I made it. After all the wrongs I've done, I finally did something right. Mabel Bassett College Coordinator Jamie Chambers believes these women will inspire others to follow in their footsteps and further their education. If you are not willing to learn, there's nothing anyone can do to help you learn. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Prison educational opportunities are made possible through community support, grants, and sponsorships. Former Congressman J.C. Watts is helping two women earn college degrees. It is really inspiring to see it all come to fruition, to see them move that tassel. It's pretty special.